I'm going to be showing you guys how to input data. So, for example, if you've used um, any sort of machine, a plate reader, um, anything that gives you an Excel file for data, I'm going to show you guys how to input this. So, um, in this case, I'm going to show a CSV file. So, what we're going to do is we have our MATLAB here, and we're going to go to Home here. And I have my data in this folder uh, ready to go. It's important that your data is in the same folder. So import your data. And then it will show me the, the options that I have. And here it is. So I'm going to click open for that one Excel file. Um, it's a CSV file, by the way, comma separated values. And it will ask me to import a selection. So it by default takes the whole thing. And in this case, I do want the whole thing. So you select the area that you want. And the easiest way to um, import it is as a numeric matrix. This is the easiest thing to work with in MATLAB. So try to save it as a numeric matrix, unless for some reason you need this information up at the top. So I'm going to click numeric matrix. And then under import selection, I'm going to generate script. And this will automatically make me a file that um, it contains a script for importing the data. I'm going to copy and paste this and uh, put it in my code here. I'm going to go back to editor and save it. All right, so if I run all this code, I get the data input. Um, so now I can work with the data as follows. So I know that I have a numeric um, have a numeric matrix, so I can deal with it as I would with a normal matrix. So a normal matrix, I can make a normal matrix just by um, generating a bunch of numbers and use a semicolon to indicate the end of a row. Co commas indicate columns or no commas at all. So this is also a matrix. So if we run this, we see and we want to look at A. A is a two by two matrix. Same thing if I put commas, it's the same thing. If I run this and look at A, this is exactly the same. So let's look at what data input one is. So here we can see this matrix. Um, it likes to shorten things by putting scientific notation. And here we have our matrix values. So suppose I just wanted column A. I have to extract this information, right? So currently it's called data input one. So I'm going to take data input one. I'm going to assign it to column A. From data input one, I'm going to take the first column. Now to do this, I'm going to say that I want all the rows in column one. So this colon here indicates that I want all of the dimension that is here. So in this case, I want all the rows. If, for example, I wanted the first row, Instead, I would say I want one colon and parentheses, uh, data input, of course. This is how we do matrix ind indexing in MATLAB. So this here, let's run it. And then I will open up call A. And here we can see that this is just the first column of what is already here. Now I can do the same thing with column B. Except this time I would put two instead because I want the second column instead. So I'm going to run this. And then suppose I wanted to plot them. Here's just a review of plotting. So now these are vectors because they are simply one column each. So let's review the plotting. So if I want to plot, I need to do a figure to open a window. And then I'm going to hit plot, and then call A and call B. 
Okay, I'm going to run it. And I will get this line here. And just as a review, suppose I want to title this graph. I'm going to put example title as my title and X label. I'm going to say column A and for my Y label, I'm going to do column B. Don't forget to close those parentheses and we'll run this. Okay. So one other concern that we have is also making these plots look a little bit prettier and personalizing them a little bit more. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. So for example, what if I don't like the color of that blue? So I can say, what if I want red? I can put this little R here to indicate that I want it to be red. I'm going to run that. Now my line is red. Well, what if this line, this line is kind of skinny? I want it to be a little bit easier to see, so I'm going to put in line width, and then let's put in 1.5 pixels. And we can see here that this line is significantly thicker now and much easier to see. Now we could also add a legend if we want. We can add a legend. And then here you have to put it in a vector form because when you have multiple plots, uh, you will eventually see that you need this in a vector form. But in this case, we only have one thing to make the legend for. So we'll say um, line one. Okay, let's run this. And now we have a legend over here. Okay, so hopefully that helps with data input. Um, this function for import data is very helpful. It generates a script for you once you find your data and you can also select which data you want. And I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.